Hello guys, welcome to Gizbot Videos. Today we have an awesome video for you lined up, especially for gamers. Today we have the Alienware Aurora R8 gaming rig, which is being powered by Intel 9th generation Core i9 99K processor, which goes up to massive 5.0 GHz, coupled with RTX 2080 graphics card and 32 GB RAM. So today look at the actual features and some of the benchmarks on this gaming rig. So one of the highlight features of this gaming rig is the LED RGB lighting. So let us look at the customization options offered by Alienware on this gaming rig. As you can see there is an app called Alienware Command Center. If you open that, you can go to settings and you can customize all these LED lights. There are actually 7 LED lights across the device. So you can select either all or you can select the individual LED alignment. If you only select the alien head which is on the power button, you can customize it to blue color or any color available in the RGB color space. See now green, yellow, red and it will be replicated in the real time on the system. So now let us save the system. So if you select all zones, as you can see now it is in black color, if you select green, everything will go to green and you can save the theme. Like this, you can customize this device n number of times and there are a lot of possibilities to play with it. If you look at the other options, fusion. This is where you can actually, you know, take advantage of the core i9 9 generation CPU that is present in this gaming rig. As I earlier said, it can go up to 5.0 GHz clock speed and you can tweak the same using these settings. As you can see, currently it's running at 4.36, whereas the standard CPU core on the core i9 is 3.6 GHz. And you can actually look at the temperature, if it's running hotter or if it's running cooler. Depending on your usage, you can make note of it and you can make required changes to improve the overall gaming performance on the system. As you can see, even there is an advanced view for the GPU that is the GeForce RTX 280 where you can look at the temperature and the power consumption and the base clock speed and the memory clock speed. So you can tweak around this thing to improve the performance offered by the RTX 280 GPU. Coming to the benchmark, most of the people who review these devices will run benchmark, synthetic benchmark like CD mark, PC mark, 3D mark, something like that. But today, we will do a bit differently. We will benchmark the Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which is one of the limited games that supports real-time ray tracing. So, let us learn the same. I will open Shadow of the Tomb Raider now. This is a paid game and RTX 280 is one of those limited GPUs which can actually ray trace in the real time. Let us wait for the screen to load. Now, actually, I will show you the setting that we are using on this one. So, you will get an idea on how good the GPU performance on the Alienware Aurora R8. If you go for display and graphics, as you can see, it's running on RTX 280. If you go to graphics, ray tracing shadow quality is high. So, you can change it either to high, ultra or off. So, I will set it to high. Now, I will run this benchmark. Depending on your GPU, CPU and RAM capability, the benchmark will vary. I think with this given setup and a 1080p display, you should expect anywhere around 60 to 70 FPS with ray tracing turned on. Do note that if you turn off the ray tracing, the FPS will jump up to 100 or 120 on the same system. So if you need that extra detailing on your game, then don't forget to turn on the ray tracing given you have a system with RTX 280. So let's look at the benchmarking for some time and how is the quality rendered by this awesome PC? As you can see on non ray trace scenes. The GPU is shooting up to 120 FPS, which is an awesome for a gaming fanatic who likes to play games with higher frame rate. As you can see, the Alienware Aurora R8 offers an extensive range of I.O. On the top, you can see there is an SPDIF port, so if you have a high-end speaker, you can use this port to connect it to the same. There are a lot of USB 3 ports and USB C port. And there is one display port from the motherboard itself. If you come down, there are a lot of Type-C port, display port and an HDMI port from the GPU that is the RX 580 that is the RTX 580. This is the power socket with the actual power inlet goes. 
and then there are two knobs i will explain about these knobs in the later part of the video now i will show you the internal part of the alienware aurora r8 and how you can upgrade this device in the future days so to open the cabinet first you have to remove the screw or unscrew the screw it should take around 30 seconds then you have to pull it out this black color thing then the panel will come keep it aside in the earlier part of the video i said i will explain about these knobs in the later part of the video so the function of this knob is to keep the power source of the PSU intact so to remove or to look at the internal part of this computer press up or the unlock it then put your hand there then you can open it as you can see inside it has the GeForce RTX 280 GPU here the CPU that is Intel Core i9-99K is here with liquid cooling system there is 2 16 GB RAM that is total of 32 GB RAM from HyperX there is an SSD in the down and if you look at the side bay there is an SSD hard disk as well that is with 1 TB storage solution in this one you can actually upgrade RAM you can upgrade storage everything to close it make sure that you listen to the click sound take it down it will lock the PSU in place then you can screw it up make sure that you align this part to the hooks given in the bottom part of the thing take it out this black color 